everybody, welcome to the Northland. Uh, sorry for the delay in video. Uh, I got a, one other one, but planned uh, in the in the works. But today is the first event of Minnesota Cars and Coffee. Um, it was all closed down last year, and uh, last month was canceled last minute, so uh, we weren't able to get it earlier. But here we are now. So we're gonna take some video. As you can see, there are tons of cars here today. Lots of people, everybody getting out and having a good time and uh, see what I can't show you today or can show you. <laughs> Beautiful military jeep. Fun to bring out. I've got a, I've got a Corvette. I bring a Corvette out. People look at it. Nice Buick Grand National. There's too many of them around anymore. Beautiful C8. I love how you can look through that back window and see the engine. I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera, but nice cars. If I was going to own a Chevrolet, that's what it would be, probably. Can't take nothing away from those. I love these cars. Wish I could, wish I could get one of these in my collection. Old school. There we go. There's my style. I'm sorry. That's not a big guy's car. <laughs> Love that body style. Yeah, if I wanted to do an oldie, it'd probably be something like that. This is just that's just my kind of my kind of thing right there. That is hot. Wow. We saw these guys at the Medina Autoplex. I don't remember if it was in that video or not, but. This, uh, the Jeep belongs to the dad, the truck belongs to the, the kid, um, and the motorcycle's part of their thing too. It's uh, truck raises and lowers. I think he said it was nine feet tall and 
20 some 27 feet long I think or something I, don't, I can't remember now but they got a lot of money tied up into these toys sure are nice pistons we're running a 9.72 compression the car is fully completed it runs on e85 um do you see big horsepower again when you went to e85 from the original 93 tune which was a pretty basic just to drive it on the streets it was 830 but only at 14 degrees of timing so we were able to increase it we went from 19 pounds of boost to 24 pounds of boost and we gained what 380 360 horse so the only downfall of the car is hard starting when it's cold which is a byproduct of e85 otherwise that's about it well she sure is nice i'm gonna i'm gonna flip the camera angle around here so we can show this car off a little bit so you can see he's put a lot of work into this car it is really nice And what did you say again? You said the hood was a... The hood came from Shelby America. Shelby it is American. the factory Super Snake hood. Okay. Um, we had to do something to get some clearance for the blower, and we lowered the engine still even a half an inch. Okay. So, it took a lot to get it to fit, but I feel like I've got about a good half inch of clearance between the hood and uh, the Kenny Bell. Yeah. Did you have to do any custom... Uh suspension stuff in order to lower the engine then? Well, it's got billet motor mounts, but it's got BMR, front suspension, K-member, radiator support, A-arms, um, BMR, everything all the way to the back. So, the back, we're still using the factory housing 8.8, .8, but it's got a true track differential, monster axles, everything was straightened, uh, axle shafts were welded, um, BMR upper and lower control arms. So everything basically has been set. It's got QA1 shocks. The only thing that I haven't modified on the car, I like the factory height. Okay. So I'm keeping the factory springs just because I drive the car a lot. There's too many bumps in the roads, everything like that. And I noticed you had a, you have a custom sound system put in I this? do have custom. So because I enjoy driving the car, we basically yanked out everything that was inside. I've got focal component three ways in the door. Focal's in the back. Um, it's been programmed and processed with an MS-8. So I get the same kind of audio sound that the music was recorded studio-wise. So that's what the car was basically designed to reproduce. Awesome. Nothing let's, over the top, but. Let's take a look at the trunk. He's got a, got a nice setup here. Do you ever think about putting an ice tank in this to don't run cooler? Or not? You don't need it. Nope. With an E85, the car only runs about 140 degrees air temp at the hottest. Okay. So, yeah. everything back here is, I, I don't want to call it simple, but it was basically set up to be simple. The subs are there just to produce the sound that's needed. Everything else is for sound quality and the best audio. Well, that sure looks uh, and custom looks painted good. to match. Yeah, you're right. Well, wouldn't be complete without that. No. <laughs> Can anybody reach you? Do you have uh, social media, Instagram, or anything like that? I'm on Facebook and Insta. Yeah. You want to? You want to hand that out or not? I don't actually. On Facebook, don't use it's it? just Trom T. Yeah, okay. I'm easy to find. Okay. I don't hide anywhere. It's... I'll, uh, I'll make sure I put that in the link in the description below. Okay. So if anybody wants to reach out to him and talk about his build with him, I'm sure he'll be happy to do that. So I'll answer what I can. All right. It's a nice car. Thank you. And uh, I appreciate you giving me the time to uh, to interview you and get, put my camera in your face. All right. <laughs> no problem. There are worse things in the world. Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you later. All right there, peeps. So, uh... 
that concluded the show, obviously. Hope you enjoy um, what I was able to show you anyway. There were so many cars out there that I couldn't possibly get them all. And it would have taken hours to compile a video. So I just tried to get some of the best of what I came across. And uh, I probably won't be able to do the Cars and Coffee in July since that's over the 4th of July weekend. Um, we've kind of got some other plans, but hopefully I can make it out there again in August, possibly. Uh, and we'll see what happens. Um, please make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Even if you don't like the video, please smash that like button with both fists. I certainly appreciate it. It'll help out the channel greatly. Uh, share it with anybody that you think may have an interest and uh, you know feel free to reach out to Terry uh, I'll put his Facebook um, page in the uh, in the description below so <clears throat> go ahead and hit him up if you want to talk about his build or if, uh, if you have any any questions he can give you some advice um, he and I talk quite a bit off camera and uh, he's quite knowledgeable, so go ahead and hit him up if you want. He can he can help you out. So um, and that's about all I have, I guess, at this point. So uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.